Hello, this is David Grubb from Shepherd's Loft. Today I want to give you guys a inside view look at a head-to-head -head comparison of the Avada theme and the Divi theme. And so in this, we're also com we're converting from the Avada to the Divi theme. And I want I'm doing this so that you guys can see kind of the comparisons of some of the features in each one of the themes. Uh, so you can see what it kind of looks like head to head. But also I have a checklist of items. The website is not complete. And so we're also going to work through uh, kind of a final checklist to make sure every, all the layouts are are consistent and that sort of thing. So this is the this is the staging area, if you will, or the development area is right here. And uh, this is the original website, uh, which is on the Avada theme. So let's get started making these changes and seeing what the differences are. So first on the list is is the menus. Uh, I think uh, so even on the old website, there's a couple of, of links here that don't go anywhere, which is the who we are and the scholarship. And so that's kind of duplicated over here on on this uh, on the new development site but what we want to do is I, I want those links to go somewhere so let's go let's go link those up so first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna hover over and uh, copy the link address uh, so let's just send them to the Tim Redovian page if they click on the who we are so I'm gonna go into the menus and we're just gonna link that page so here it is right here custom link and yeah it's just not said to go anywhere uh, and I'm going to delete the development URL so I don't have to fix that later. So there's one. And let's see, which is the other one is scholarships. Uh, scholarships. I think we can just take them to the highlighted winners page. That might be a good place to take them. So I'm just going to copy this URL here. So scholarships. We're fixing the scholarships, which is right here. Paste. Save that. I'm going to get rid of those comment boxes while I'm here. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the home page so that it refreshes. So when I click on who we are, it now takes us to the Tim Redovian page. So I like that. I like the way that works a lot better. So I'm just not leaving people hanging out to dry there when they click on those buttons. Okay, so the first item is done. Uh, widgets in the footer. So when we brought this over the widgets and this happens a lot when you change themes no matter what theme it is uh, you change themes the the widgets get you know they just get discombobulated a lot of times you'll see them shift uh, I'll see them shift one or two uh, areas over so we want to make sure that we've got uh, this content here in the first one so if I look at the new site um, so yeah our recent posts are over here which should go in the in the second one in the Facebook and the third one okay so let's pull up our so we're on the dev site we're gonna pull up the widgets okay so widget area 2 I'm just gonna open them all here okay here's the Facebook which is supposed to be in number 3 recent post supposed to be number 2 and uh, recent post okay that's just a random uh, random text thing there so we'll delete that okay so what are we missing now We've got recent posts and Facebook and so we need this text that, that's going in the first column so I'm gonna go back to the old website uh, widget area and just copy and paste that content over so I don't have to rebuild it footer widget one okay Oops, I missed my bar. Okay, we'll open this up. Copy all. Oops, went one too far. Okay, I need to add a text widget here. Text widget. This is going to be footer one. Add widget. Okay. Um, the link is good image okay I'm gonna take the uh, the first part of the URL out of there so that it pulls it from makes it relative okay so I can save that 
Okay, so that should have taken care of the first, second, and third. So the fourth column is supposed to be the recent um, tweets. So uh, footer or recent tweets. Okay, so that's a Nevada function. So that's that's kind of interesting. And let's see. I don't know that we have a Twitter a Twitter plugin on our Divi theme, so we may have to go find one. Okay. Let's just Google that right quick and see what we can get. Best Twitter widget plugins for WordPress. Oh, look, it's by Elegant Themes. That's convenient. Okay. Let's see what they got to say. Uh, the official Twitter widget. Yeah, we're already signed up. Thanks. I don't see I don't see a link for that one so I'm looking for Twitter widget with styling easy Twitter feed widget plugin okay so let's check that one out I think we'll try this one copy okay so we're over here I'm gonna open up a new tab to install this plugin add new Enter. Okay, install now. Activate our plugin. Okay, so now I want to go back to the widgets here. I'm gonna have to refresh my page so that the uh, the widget options sh will show up on Twitter. Okay, here it is. E easy Twitter feed. And we want to go that to go into area four. Okay, and we're going to delete this old one here. Title. Twitter feed. Okay, so it looks like we'll probably have to go get the ID. So we'll go back to the old website and see if there's a link to the Twitter. which this may not work. We have to go into the developer to get the ID. So I may not uh, be able to do that now. Okay, Twitter screen name is there. Uh, tweet limit. Let's just do three. Okay, I'm just going to save that to see what we have. All right, so this is this can go away. Plugins page, blog article. Get rid of all those. So over here on the right, uh, this is a custom widget. Okay, there's our Twitter feed. Look, it's all set. Okay, well if it was on a dark theme, it would be even better. So let's see if there's a dark option. Okay, here, Twitter theme, light, dark. Okay, save. That looks pretty good. It'd be nice if the color matched, though. So let's, let's dig a little deeper and see if we can find the color for our main footer right here. There it is, 20, 22. Copy, so I'm going to take it back. I saw... Twitter widget link. Oh, that's the link color. Okay, so I'll just have to live with that dark color. Um, so that's fine. It looks pretty good. I'm happy with that. Uh, two, it's about the right size. So that looks great. I think our, our footer now looks 
it looks even better than it was before and that's the kind of idea this is pretty clean here but uh, yeah this had duplicate uh, titles here so just looking at the differences between them find us on Facebook okay the titles look much nicer these gold titles look much nicer on the Divi theme but uh, it looks like all the contents there so I'm gonna check that item off our list All right. So also when I was uh, reviewing the website over in the news section, I noticed that when you clicked on an article that we have two featured image showing. Um, so that's not cool. So let's go into our Divi options and fix that. And so there's there's two parts here. The one there's the news page, which kind of gives you the excerpt, right? And then there's the actual single page layout. So this is what we um, okay, that's, I'm sorry, single post layout. So this is where we want to go. Show comments, place thumbnails. So if we turn this off, uh, the featured image off, then it should remove the duplicate image. So let's see if we got it right. Bang, there it goes. It's all nice and clean now. And so if we check one of the other ones just to make sure. So this is the, the blog page, right? So there's one featured image showing there. But when we go to the actual individual post, that there's only one featured image. So that is fantastic. Another item off our checklist. Uh, let's see. Over, I think in the same area here, the sidebars are different. So if we look back at uh, the original website. Oh, let's see. So let's get to the blog here. We can see in the sidebar there should be upcoming events and recent recent posts and tweets. So let's see if we can fix the widgets uh, in that section. So I'm going back to back to appearance widgets. So this time we're working on the sidebar, which is here. Um, I kind of like this information here too about the. Redovian Foundation, so I might just leave that in there. Let's see, uh, events. All right, so do we have calendar upcoming displays list of upcoming events from your entire network? Okay, I'm not sure what that is, but we'll try it. And let's see what else we have. Event attendees. That's not where we're like most popular events. Um, that's not just not helpful. Upcoming events. Not sure what this one is either. So let's uh, let's add both of these, and then we'll figure out which one's the best one to use. Let's see. And then so save that one. Calendar events and upcoming events show dates oh, okay well upcoming events is not going to show we don't have any upcoming events so that's not going to show anything um, at, at the moment so I already know that that's not going to work uh, we would have to put a new event in to be able to show it so look ahead I'm going to set it to 12 weeks but I'm going to have and set it up so that when we do add an event it'll be there I'm going to delete that one what else are we missing uh, we're missing the recent posts Okay, that should be easy. Recent post is here. Add to widget. Okay, save. And then, what's the last thing that we're missing? Is the, the tweets. Twitter, easy Twitter feed. So we'll put us another copy of that one in there at the bottom. Uh, this time, I think we want the light. Yeah, we're on a white background. So let's use the light display. Make sure we have the right screen name, which that's not it. We can go over to, to our other one and grab it. Here it is. Redovian fund. Okay. Let's 
Save those. Okay, now let's see what we got. Okay, so there's the little information about. There's no upcoming events yet, but it's but it's ready. Uh, recent post looks good, and the Twitter feed looks good, and it balances out with the page. So that looks awesome. Another thing off our checklist. Now something for a little more fun. Uh, we have a page that needs a slideshow added. Uh, so let's go back to I think it's this page, the 5013C page. Yes. Okay, I'm going to go over here as well. And I'm going to close this page just so we have less pages to look at. So you can see the difference. Uh, we're missing our little uh, colorful header right here and the slideshow underneath. Those are two things we're missing from this page. So we want to add those. So I'm just going to hit edit page. Okay. We're going to add a full width section. And we're doing a full width image at the top. Looking for the color. Oh, it's usually right here at the top. Here it is. Okay, set that as an image. Okay, an image title. We're going to go ahead and use the page title right here. Copy, paste, save. Okay, now we're going to drag and drop that to the top. Okay, and we want to add another full width section, which is going to be our slideshow. Here we go, full width slider. Now we're going to add our slides in. Okay. So here's a quote. We can start with this one. Oh, let's see. Oh, okay, here they are down here. So there's one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so number one is this guy. And I'm going to need to retype the text off the screen. This is by dash LUD. where we can see it. Music is a higher revelation. Copy. Okay, so that's going to be the text on the slide. So I'm looking for the guy that's singing. Heading. I think we'll just put that in the text area of the slide down here. That would be the easiest thing to do. Assign the background image. Looking for the guy with the tie. Okay, this looks like the group right here. So here we go. 
Set as a background. Save. Okay, ready for the next slide. Slide number two is this guy. Okay, so this is going to be the text on the slide. Find our image. I think it's, they're all the way at the bottom. I think it's this one with the piano. Yes, that looks correct. So we're going to set that one. Save. Okay, next one. It's a group of singers here. It's another quote. Okay, so making a new slide. Okay, so which image goes on this one? It's a group of people. Which is... I think it's this one right here. So this is just mostly reconstruction, but uh, we can see how this is using the old websites using the revolutionary slider, uh, which is is kind of known for being uh, a vulnerability for viruses. So this this exercise is also helping our security when we're converting it over. Uh, so it looks like this is just a picture, just an image on this one. Should, so that should be easy. So that's one of the good reasons to convert over to uh, to the Divi framework, um, just because of the of the slideshow. I think it's this guy with the hand. Is that right? Yes. Okay, this guy. So set that one. Save. Okay, and there's one more out here, which is which is uh, the orchestra group. Okay, and one more slide. group uh, looks like this one you know what and since uh, all the other ones had uh, had quotes on them we'll add this one the John F. Kennedy one again save that maybe go back and add add uh, the second one let's add that one Scott Adams Save the second one to last, didn't have a quote. So this is kind of making a little improvement here just to be consistent with the with the layouts, with the slides. Okay, so that should do it. Let's update that page. And let's see how we did. Okay, so there's the first one, which I gotta get. I'm on the old website, get them in sync here. Okay, which looks great. And then number two. Okay, so what we missed is I didn't turn on the automatic roll, so I'll, go, I'll need to go back and turn that on. So this slideshow is actually a full width, which is a little different from here. 
we got a full width uh, banner at the top, but then we just have the, the slideshow kind of embedded on the page. So on the new site, we're just going to make it go all the way across. I think that's a little cons more consistent with the theme, with the, the top nav, and our little header, header text, which I see our header text is not showing up, so we need to fix that. Okay, but we have all the pictures and we have quotes on all of them, which is great. And it animates, so it looks fantastic. So let's edit this. So I think what I did wrong here was that um, image title text. Okay, this is what I did. So I'm going to copy that. I used the wrong one. I used the full image instead of the full width header. So let's change that out. There's the proper header title. And then we just got to go choose the background image URL, which is here. Save that one. Okay, so we're going to delete the full width image. Okay, so that's the proper one. Now the slider, we want to make sure that it animates. So let's check our settings. Uh, automatic animation. We'll put it on 2500. And use parallax effect. Um, I don't think that's necessary. Remove inner shadow. I definitely like to do that. Save, update. Okay. View page. There we go. So now we got our title at the top, which should be consistent with. Okay, so we're missing it on this page, but it's consistent with the why we exist. So back to the 5013C page. So now this is consistent with the rest of the site. All this looks good. So this page is done. So let me check that one off our list. on the why we exist page I noticed that there was some some old short code and so right here and this can happen with not just the Avada theme but with a lot of themes probably even with um, elegant themes is it uses short code to do these these builders um, so what I'd like to show you is uh, so we'll edit this out and then I'll show you what it looked like when I started this project with all the short code. Okay, so it's right in here, this text area. Okay, so here's the fusion text, short code. Okay, save, update. I saved a couple of draft pages over here. So here's one of the pages, you know, when I, when we brought it over from the Avada theme, this is what it all looked like. It was all just jumbled up, short code. And so we've had to go in and kind of rebuild all the pages to to make it to make it look right. Um, so all the all the part at the bottom with the um, the recent winners and this area is and so you can see the other short code down here, that section. So Uh, a lot of a lot of that cleanup is already done. Okay, so why was this? Okay, so another item completed. We can go back and double check that. So there's the title, the banner, and then the short code is gone over here. So it looks good. And while we're on this page, I'm going to show you um, what the. So this is the accordion right here, arts and style. So this is the why we exist. So on the on the Avada theme, this looks like, okay, I gotta scroll back up while we exist. Okay, so here's the accordion here. So when I click on arts and culture, you know, it, it just slides up, which is, it's pretty neat. Um, the other browser was giving me some real, real issues with the accordion. 
and it was jumping all over the page so here's the here's the accordion on the elegant themes um, I think there's another page as well that's that's really big with the accordion so I'll show you another example of the accordion the scholarship winner page so this is a I moved it down here so on the old website which is still loading um, I have a very slow connection but uh, the dev site is running way faster than than the live site is which which should be cached off the servers um, it looks like the the rev sliders struggling to load as well okay so here's here's the old table off the old website so this is one of the things that we're kinda cleaning up uh, at, as we're converting the website from the Avada theme over so here's how the the accordion worked on this website and you can see that the tables were getting cut off so the layout wasn't very good um, I don't know if this was a restraint of the Avada or just the way the designer did it at the time um, so what I did was I moved the accordion down to where it would have a full width um, I don't have the alternating rows on the CSS but um, still you can read all the content that's on there and then there's a back to the top page so it works a little better looks like we're missing our our header title on this page so I'm gonna go ahead and edit and add our header title so copy this link copy. so I have a full width image in here and I need to add my title full width header okay there's the title and the background image is going to be the little color bar save and then we just move that to the top update that so there's another page that's consistent uh, with the rest of the layout which is one of the things I didn't uh, I didn't do very well when I first started uh, converting the site so now that looks a lot better so that should be consistent with the why we exist page and the other one so now those pages are all looking a lot more consistent okay um, I think on one of these pages we were missing the missing the map so it was the 97 to 2015 scholarship page which is here so looking back at the old website here's that little interactive map if you will so yeah I don't know why the slideshow the rev sliders just not even working um, so we've had a lot of issues with upgrading revolution slider and upgrading uh, the Avada theme a lot of things a lot of little things breaking uh, you can also see um, I think on the home page the some of the past winners was not working as well so we're gonna grab this map off of here which is missing missing from our page see I've, I forgot to put it in there so we're gonna add that to the top there okay so 97 to 2015 97 to 2015 so here's the builder from the Avada I'm just not familiar with it okay it's down here this is what we're looking for world map so here's the map ID which is what I need edit element okay copy okay so the map goes I'm going to put the map right underneath this content here. Which is above the accordion, so right here. And that's just going to be a regular text module. Are we missing any other? 
content. Okay, it looks like we're missing this title right here as well. Here we go. Copy. So the builder looks pretty pretty clean, but uh, this one's kind of bulky, but the, I think the colors really help me determine what kind of section I'm looking at. So the purple here is full width, the blue is standard, the green is kind of standard. Uh, the, this bright green down here, lime green, is a library item. So I know if I change that, it, it changes it everywhere on the website. So I've used the same section over and over. And that's one of the key features of the Divi theme is that you can reuse uh, parts of the layout or the whole layout on another page. And that really helps you build consistent pages. Um, okay, so I'm just going to change this to a heading three or something. Save. We're going to update that. And there's our map. We got a nice little um, heading section there for that, which makes it looks good. And then we've got our uh, our accordion that looks good. So you can also see what I did at the bottom. This is one of those little library items areas that's used throughout the website, which in comparison looks a lot better than the original. So uh, it's really easy with the Divi to help to to do kind of the design elements. Of what's going on on the page um, so on the old website it's just a just kind of an ugly button so this this looks way better uh, the new site is is looking very good okay well I think I've covered just about everything on the checklist uh, except for the social share and follow so we can take a quick look at that uh, so let's get back to our our plugins so I don't have I don't have it installed so I'll have to go install our our uh, social share plugin so I'll have to log in to my management system right fast so that we can install that plugin. Uh, so that's another feature that Shepherd's Loft uh, does is we have a management software that allows us access to all the websites and we can do that very quickly. Uh, we can ins install um, supported plugins um, directly from the management system so that we don't have to do it individually. Okay, so I'm on the development site. I'm looking at my plugin list activate the plugin, pulling it from our Dropbox, uh, which is a really nice feature. And you can install multiple plugins to multiple websites at one time, uh, which really makes things convenient. So in this case, I just missed one plugin for the site, so I'm going to install that. Okay, it says it's done, so I'm going to refresh the page. Okay. Okay, yeah, there's the notices. Okay. Okay. And of course it needs updating, so we'll do that first. And then we'll go to the settings page. Man, the server is running really fast today. Normally, when you first install a, a development site and you're adding content, it's very, very slow for even weeks. I mean, this is, you know, some of the things that I've dealt with in the past but uh, on our hosting platform it's just it is so much faster even without a, a caching so you don't even have a caching plugin installed and it's so much faster than uh, the most uh, probably all the shared hosting platforms so uh, let's see what do we we've got some let's see we got a Facebook link so we can copy that link address um, so there's two different things. There's social sharing, which shares it on to the user's network, and then there's social follow. So let's go work on the follow 
I want to add a network here. Here's the Facebook. Uh, what else do we have? Facebook. Uh, we have a Twitter and a YouTube and an Instagram. Nope, no Instagram. That one's empty. And the email. That's um, not. I don't recommend. So really, we just got three: Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Facebook, Twitter, and then YouTube, which is here. So I can apply those. So here's I'm going to paste in the Facebook. I'm going to leave the default name. So I'm going to grab the Twitter, copy link address, and then the YouTube address. Right click, copy link address. Okay, and then we're going to save those. Now by default it doesn't. Um, yeah, so it's telling me that I need to go to the social sharing settings. Uh, select the social networks in the social sharing. Okay, so that's the sharing area. So let's add what we want to share on. We're gonna, of course, we want to share on the same ones. Um, I'm gonna add in the Google Plus, just because I think YouTube is eventually going that way. Okay, so there's not a YouTube on here, so Google Plus is the best I can do there. Um, I think a lot of people are on Pinterest and Instagram if that if those are available. I don't see Instagram on my list though, so it's unfortunate. But we've got um, we got three or four of the top ones. Uh, we're not doing LinkedIn, so that's more business oriented. So I'll apply those, save those changes, and so that's just for the sharing. Uh, then we can tell it where we want it to go. I usually like to do the sidebar option, and this is where we can put it home page paste post I'm gonna put it um, on all those so I'll save those settings okay sidebar location orientation left slide left okay that's good we'll check our general settings just to make sure okay so it looks like we got most of those set up so we'll go check and see if those are, are working now we're not gonna see the social follow because we actually have to add those it's a widget that we would have to add so we can go do that uh, right quick as well okay. okay so we gotta go to oh here it is right so here's the share over here on the left uh, so what we don't have is the follow set up so if we go to the widgets appearance widgets Okay, we can add it to the sidebar at the top. Which is here. Add it to the sidebar. Okay, I'm just gonna drag that to the top. Okay, save. So if we go to news. So we got these big icons, which I don't really like. I like the smaller ones. So let's go back and see if we're going to adjust our our settings. I think it has to do with the with the width. So we're looking for the monarch settings here. Okay. So we've got the sidebar selected, which is good. Okay, networks. Here's the follow. Okay, sidebar settings. I always forget where it's at. Okay, so here's all the settings um, display counts, share counts. So we, we kind of want that turned off until we get it connected. Total shares, networks, icons. Oh, again, this is the this is the follow. Okay, that's the share. We want the follow settings, uh, which should have been here. Ah, 
widget settings. There we go. Okay, so display follower counts. We can turn that off. Total followers. Display network names. Okay, so this is where it gets kind of hairy. So pl icon placement centered. But here's the number of columns. So you can see that they're big. And, it's, and if there was more room here, it would still put them in two columns because of this setting. So we want to change this to automatic. And we've chosen the smaller smaller icons or we've turned off the other the other information so there it goes so that's it's a bit tricky to remember what that is that's the social share which is under the widget settings so it took me a second to find that there we go so now we got the just the icons themselves and they're all in a row of course if there were more then it would wrap according to the column because it's set on automatic so that's very nice there all right and that concludes all of all the changes that we wanted to make to um, the final changes that we wanted to make to the website. Uh, we're ready to email the client and let them know that that their website conversion is complete, um, and that's the conversion from the uh, Avada theme over to uh, the Divi theme on the Shepherd's Loft hosting network. And I want to take a quick moment to tell you guys uh, some of the bad news about WordPress is. You know, in 2015, 83% of all the websites that had to be cleaned were WordPress. 56% um, of, of those WordPress websites that had to be cleaned were affected because they weren't updated. That's all they had to do. All they had to do was just go update. But I understand because like on the Avada theme, the reason a lot of people don't update uh, their, their WordPress or their their Avada theme is because things break and then they got to go in there and fix it or if the developer does doesn't want to do it because it's going to break and then the client doesn't really want to pay for the not necessarily the maintenance but the the upkeep of when things break so there's really no so there's this a, a management layer in between that kind of gets left out when you go when you're just going to shared hosting then nobody's responsible for performing the, those upgrades um, so that's why you want managed hosting because the security is the first priority. You're going to make sure that they're immediately upgraded to your system. Uh, support is paramount. It, you know, then you got somebody to go to. If somebody's ma actively managing your WordPress website and doing the performing those upgrades, and you see that something's broke, then they're going to fix it for you. Um, and, you know, that takes all the technical headaches out of out of what you're doing. So, of, of having a website. Um, so managed hosting is performing immediate upgrades as they come out, and that's upgrades to your WordPress core, uh, your theme, your plugins, your database, your PHP version, everything. And then they, you also, they're also, you know, part of that support. And and then that's they also include virus protection, so we guarantee that. Uh, and then also the vendor management, which is your license fees for your forms. Uh, we, you know, the forms and any other licensed products, your themes, uh, maybe an events plugin or something like that. Um, so th that's what Shepherd's Loft has to offer is managed WordPress hosting. Uh, we've been in the industry for over 15 years developing uh, web presence. Uh, we have uh, helped hundreds of small businesses. Um, we're the only small, we're the only company providing fully managed WordPress hosting. Um, that's completely supported and upgraded. We don't just upgrade the core and then leave everything else. We upgrade everything. Um, and we're actively involved in the community. We make these videos to help people uh, learn about uh, the differences between the different themes and the hosting environments. And we've had zero uh, infected WordPress websites this year since we've moved over to our new platform. Uh, it's been it's been very exciting. It's been easy. It's been fun because now we can concentrate on doing design work and and helping our clients build their businesses. Um, some of the benefits are you get to edit your content. Uh, there's plenty of community behind WordPress, behind Divi themes. Uh, there's plenty of support from Shepherd's Loft. Uh, the components are interchangeable. The WordPress is SEO friendly out of the box. Uh, it's one of the best. SEO friendly uh, CMS is on the market um, and there's lots of features that you can always add um, so the secret is using a framework like our web design framework 
you know the Divi theme by Elegant Themes is a framework. It is it is easy. It's more secure. It's easier to support. And you know the other thing is is buy licensed products. You know so then you have somebody to go to if in having that management layer. So I've given you a sneak peek today of kind of what our basic platform looks like and just some repeated screenshots here of some of the work that we did so I wanted you guys to see the inside of the admin panel and see what some of the things were um, so it's it's a very simple uh, uh, procedure you can do it yourself if you would like for us to do it we'd be glad to do that for you um, so Again, our managed solution will take, you know, give you step-by-step, day-to-day support for any of the technical issues that you may have concerning your WordPress site or your or your theme um, on our on our framework, um, and it saves you money. Um, so there's huge savings uh, if you go with our web design solution. Uh, you can see that the the uh, the second white line there. If you get the coupon code from this video. That's what what how much it'll it'll cost you with the coupon. So if you're looking at the business plan of six hundred twenty four dollars a year, and you will save twelve hundred dollars every year because of all the licenses fees that you have to pay for separately. So if you go to GoDaddy or HostGator or Bluehost or any of the other um, uh, hosting providers, you're paying for hosting and that's great, but you don't get the management layer. And so you you if you pay more for the management layer, you pay for the web design solution, then you can save that twelve hundred dollars a year instead of paying for the themes, paying for everything individually on your own. Uh, this is an exclusive special offer. Today we'll give you ten percent off the next annual hosting purchase. That's forty four dollars off using this webinar co code webinar one hundred one. Uh, free migration services to you know included. Um, uh, we no longer include your domain name. We're just going to host your WordPress website. Uh, we would do a free security scan before we migrate you over and make sure your website's clean and remove any viruses so you're 100% clean when you get on our, uh, our system. And, you know, I, I showed you today how we set up the social share and follow. We will do that for you. That's an, another $120, $120 value. That's $600 savings and bonuses and once you purchase your once you go through these specific instructions and you make your purchase and you purchase your uh, your plan your hosting plan I will send you a coupon code uh, a discount code to to convert your Avada theme over to or one of any other theme from that theme over to the Divi framework system so I'll give you a coupon specifically for that it will save you another three hundred dollars so that's like nine hundred dollars worth of savings so go out go to uh, Shep this uh, this bitly link here on the screen go there and get a instant custom hosting recommendation do that it's free doesn't cost anything all you gotta do is put your email in fill out the form a little bit of information to help make that decision for you guide you uh, and then write down the webinar 101 write that on a piece of paper on your desk and then when you go through the checkout system put in the coupon code you know just think about it. this is this is a no-brainer uh, it doesn't seem that way because you got to spend more money. Uh, the managed hosting costs more than shared hosting, uh, but the savings is on the back end. The headaches, the the worrying about whether the website's going to break when you upgrade, whether or not whether you're going to get a virus. If you do get a virus, then you got to who you're going to contact, how much is it going to cost you to get that virus removed. All of that goes away. It's like it's it's better than insurance. It's a guarantee. So click the link that's in the ad on the screen and get your recommendation. That's step one. Okay, after you that, uh, you're finished, you go through the checkout process. It'll take us, you know, one to two days to install your WordPress site. We, it's not, this is not a script. We go in there and we install and make a fresh install. We do the complete security, um, you know, checklist and make sure that it's secure. We make sure that every WordPress installation is 100% secure. Uh, so again, click the ad on the screen, go through the instructions. It don't let uh, don't let the fear or anything else hold you back from getting this done. Y you want to be worry free when it comes to your website. It is worth the money. Again, here's the link, uh, and there's the coupon code. Uh, 
you can copy that down and order your managed WordPress hosting today. Thanks.